Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Bottom Left Hand Corner. We have Zen starting as the Yellow Protoss bottom right hand corner. We have Whip starting as the Brown Terran. This is on Neo Sylphid, I believe. I'm gonna, yep, Neo Sylphid. And between these two, Whip is the heavy favorite. Zen, the tournament organizer. I cannot help myself in rooting for an underdog. So I'm kind of rooting for Zen overall, but just gonna be bluntly honest, Whip is by far the favored player. He is, uh, I think, 2100, 2200, somewhere up in that range. A very, very solid A. Borderline S, might even be an S these days. Looks like Zen going for a very quick something. Seventh probe making its way out. So it looks like this is going to be potentially a double gate cheese. Eight probes have been produced, so it's going to be eight pylon. So I, I have a feeling we're going to see the two-gate mid-position rush against Whip. And Whip, not going for the front door seal, is placing that supply depot alongside... The, so this is also a three-player map. And I kind of like the cheese on this, because let's do the map reveal once again. This is Rampless. We even got a Zerg egg. And it's a big, wide, open, natural choke. So Whip sending out that... Oh, he's, he was going to go for one Rax into Expand. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. This is exactly what Zen, I assume, was hoping for. Zen, now scooting across, is also going to get first scout. This might just be a straight-up build order victory for Zen. And let's see if Whip goes and scouts middle. Like, even honestly, even if he does scout middle, what he needs to do right now... Oh, okay, so we're going to go to... Can we do the Whip? I think we can do it. So we're going to go Whip view. Does Whip find it? And Whip does not see... Okay, he finds the double gate. But the thing is, is being out of position like this, can't even do anything about it. He already dropped his refinery. He needs to hurry up and drop... So now it's the, the race of Factory versus Zealots. They're going to be in his base in a hurry. The SCV is going to come back and start attacking that pylon to try to draw those Zealots back. This SCV actually missed the probe dying... Now Whip trying to get a front door seal up. He's got one more building he can drop to complete that seal, at which point Zen's fate will be sealed. Oh, that's unfortunate. So nice scouting. So second barracks dropping. I don't know that this is a tight seal, though. I think... So Zealot... So this SCV trailing the Zealot rather than sticking on the pylon. Additional Zealots being produced. No defense marine as of yet. And I think this actually is a gap. Oh, sorry, no, not a gap. It's the other way around where it's a gap. So Zealot's going to work. SCV's coming off the line. They desperately need to build that barracks. There's still no defense units for Whip. And the Zealots tacking away at the front, trying to do what they can. Three Zealots working on that barracks. First Marine being produced, but there's already going to be five Zealots out on the front. Or sorry, four Zealots and a... No, five. Yeah, five and a... No, those are two probes. Pylon. Being built for Zen on the front. So Zen going to make some work of it. First Marine out. SCV's trying to pull out. Now is there going to be additional building drop? No! Building doesn't get dropped. So SCV's now trying to blockade against the Zealots. The Zealots are going to have to attack their way through the SCV line to try to get back to the Marines. One Marine taking a lot of damage. More Zealots flooding in. One Marine down. And Zen doing it. Another pylon at the fourth position. And Whip going to GG! So Zen getting a build order victory. Great play to take it. So Whip not able to defend the, the proxy. So Zen showing some uh, signs of life here. And we're going to go into a game three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.